This vehicle has a problem with the automatic transmission. Neither adaptation nor software updates have fixed the problem. Therefore, it is possible that the control solenoid valves of the electrohydraulic control unit have been contaminated. To find out, you need to remove the EHS as described in the repair instruction. Caution, when removing it, the ceiling ring may be firmly seated. Gently try to loosen it with your fingers. If that does not work, get a colleague to help remove it with a suitable tool. Our mechanic has already removed the electrohydraulic control unit. First loosen the screws of the leaf springs. Then you can take out the valves. Please ensure that you do not swap the mounting positions of the valves. Because all valves have different characteristics which are stored in the corresponding control unit. So best of all, turn the valves over and place them in their original order. Now let's start cleaning the dirty valves. Never use brake fluid, a rag or compressed air. Use a magnet to remove the visible dust from the screens. Then wash the valves in fresh transmission oil. Be sure to use the correct transmission oil. Depending on the version, either the blue FEATF oil or the red ATF oil. After cleaning, check that the valves are clean and undamaged. These look good. You can use them. With the left valve, the cleaning was not successful. Replace the defective valve with a new one. Don't forget to cover the seal with fresh transmission oil. With the exchange, note the color of the cap. Valves with a black cap have a rising and valves with a blue cap have a falling characteristic curve. If more than four control solenoid valves have to be replaced, please inform your local market performance center or chief agency and coordinate the next steps with them. Before you install the valves again, you need to clean the valve seat in the circuit board. Do this too with a magnet. If necessary, suction off additional oil with a pipette. Then slide out the switch. Be especially careful not to damage it. Clean the magnets with a lint-free cloth. Then slide the switch back in. Make sure it fits correctly. Now you can reinstall all the valves. Tighten the screws of the leaf springs with a torque of 8 newton meters. Lubricate the sealing ring of the electrical connection. Now the EHS is ready for installation. Do not forget to renew the oil filter.
Also, clean the magnet of the oil pan, repeatedly if necessary. Then wipe the tub thoroughly. Replace the gasket before installing the transmission again. Rinse the complete transmission as described in the repair instructions in WIS. After the exchange of the control solenoid valves, the transmission must be adapted including the new valves.